Wall Street's Bitcoin bull Tom Lee, we are tired of people asking us about target prices. For the last time this year, Fundstrat's Tom Lee is updating his air value model for Bitcoin, which he says values the cryptocurrency between $13,800 and $14,800 more than $10,000 above where it was trading Thursday. But he's sick of people asking about it. Ivan we are so close to year end. We are not providing any updates to near-term price objectives read this as, we are tired of people asking us about target prices, Lee says. The best known at Coinel on Wall Street is getting tired of forecasting short-term prices. For the last time this year, co-founder of Fundstrat Global Advisor Tom Lee updated his estimate for what a fair price for Bitcoin should be, between $13,800 and $14,800. The model still puts Bitcoin about $10,000 above where the world's largest cryptocurrency was trading Thursday. Given we are so close to year-end, we are not providing any updates to near-term price objectives read this as, we are tired of people asking us about target prices, Lee, former JP Morgan chief equity strategist, said in a note to clients. In November, Lee at his price target from $25,000 to $15,000. A key driver for the revision was Bitcoin's break-even point, the level at which mining costs match the trading price. Bitcoin is closing out a miserable trading year. The cryptocurrency is down 75% since January, trading near $3,324 on Thursday, according to data from Coindesk. From its high near $20,000 in just December, the cryptocurrency has lost more than 82% of its value. For Bitcoin to stage a price rebound, Lee said user adoption needs to increase, and it needs to be embraced as a real asset class. But looking out longer term, if the amount of Bitcoin users approached even 7% of Visa's total 4.5 billion currently, Lee's regression model would place fair value at $150,000 per Bitcoin. Hence, the risk-reward is still strong, Lee said. Given the steep discounts of Bitcoin to our fair value models, the excessive bearish sentiment about fundamentals does not seem warranted. Still, Lee said technicals remain important in cryptocurrency trading and as long as Bitcoin remains below its 200-day moving average, investors will likely still stay bearish. How Bitcoin could have become immune to the effects of expiring BTC futures contracts. Active cryptocurrency traders had assumed that with yesterday's expiration of Bitcoin futures contracts by the CME Group, the price of BTC would experience a spike in value. And in the positive direction. At first, the social media chats on Telegram and Twitter were debating as to the exact timing of the expiration of the futures contracts. There was one camp that was without a doubt sure that the expiration was at 4 p.m. London time. There was also the other camp that was certain it was 22.000 UTC, six hours later. The CME group clearly states that settlement is at 4 p.m. as can be seen in the following excerpt from the firm's frequently asked questions page. Termination of trading, last day of trading is the last Friday of contract month. Trading in expiring futures terminates at 4 p.m. London time on last day of trading. Perhaps the team at CME Group needs to clarify again on the exact timing given that this AQS age was last updated on the 15th of December 2017. Bitcoin's price no longer correlated to futures expiration dates keen observers of the price of BTC during the two expected times quoted above noted that there was no movement of Bitcoin in the preferred upward direction. The price of BTC is still at the $4,000 levels witnessed early last week. Bitcoin's value has been oscillating between the $3,600 and $4,400 price range since November 25. Back in late October, a research report emerged that debunked the theory that the price of Bitcoin was affected by expiring futures contracts by both the CME Group and CBOE. The report was by he syndicator fintech company that builds predictive analytics by merging collective intelligence and machine learning models. The said report had been prepared by the firm's analytical team and quant researchers. Simon Cusin, 
head of analytics at Syndicator, explained that here was no clear-cut golden rule for trading based on the future's expiration dates. Looking at past movements of Bitcoin's price, we can see that there is no golden rule for trading based on futures expiration dates. Overall market trends can influence Bitcoin prices in a much stronger way. Our conclusions from this research are a good representation of the overall value we seek to provide to crypto investors by presenting different reasons for why certain market movements might happen and encouraging research and the use of analytical tools. The report available online went on to conclude that there was no exact correlation between the expiration of BTC futures contracts and the price of the digital asset. Evidence of this can be seen only hours ago when we failed to see a spike in value at the expected times of 4 p.m. London time and 22 o'clock UTC. What are your thoughts on the effect of expiring Bitcoin futures contracts on the price of BTC? Is it a good fact to know as you trade around the time periods they expire or should we ignore them henceforth? Please let us know in the comment section below.